right? I, I'm just Please make right. your way into the prep room. Okay, Haley, come on. Bye bye. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't Oh, I was blowing my nose. Are we supposed to go in? Okay, I guess so. I might yes, have. Yes, friend. Tonight's event is about to begin. I might have my mic muted because right. I'm on call for work just in case my recording already recorded me answering a phone call for work. <laughs> no worries at all, friend. Definitely going yeah. to be a different experience to what you're used to. But also, ah, you know, yeah, yeah, what do you mean? What I'm used to? I'm not used uh, to it at all. I have wings. Just exactly. We are this machine. I'm just nervous about it. Yes. Yeah. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, fuck. Don't worry. Fuck. Don't worry, Panda. Don't worry, Panda. Don't worry, Panda. I'll be in time for you. Yeah. You haven't seen that. You haven't seen that yet. Shit. I don't know. I don't remember. Did you have like a sword? Never mind. Never mind. There's more like it just doesn't work. It breaks. Anyway, nice to have work. We have a big panda. It's a mermaid. I got this one from a robot. It doesn't have any. Oh, never mind. It's like a junk store. Get it now. Holy shit! Did these things have a big panda? That's crazy. Hold on. I don't know what that did. Uh, made by yeah, yeah, visualization. Yeah. He is also probably the no idea. Also no, I heard. don't know this person. <laughs> <laughs> the Imagine if some we have yeah. a giant yeah. robot, mm -hmm. and then we have a crazy man sandwich. So if you're really worried about being a small little kobold, don't be. Well, it's the yeah. I mean, the size of the I mean, it's, it's probably just like a straight rip model. So. How many swords can a Trajan yeah, carry? Yeah, probably. Trajan can carry swords. Yeah. Right, no question is... Yeah, I'm actually not in full uh, body right now. Surprise, surprise. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. 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 I'm going to turn around later. Uh, uh, time to hear us uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, a Trajan could carry all the swords. No, I think it's very exciting. Yeah. You look too bright. How Everyone much here looks too bright. Poi, poi, yeah, the answer is yes. Yeah, well, like, yeah. 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 Good brother. Well, yeah. well, well you see, look to answer that question, uh, yeah, to talk to that question. Your armor's not showing up tonight? I no. like it's an angle yeah. thing. Yeah. No, <laughs> I am already standing still. Oh, that's so hard. Damn. Oh, that's so hard. Nine. Immediately. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. How they do look fairly bright, I guess. Play, play, play. I didn't know the fun day one. Would have been, would have been cool. Yeah, one. I bag actually oh, joined this. That this is cool. the previous this one. Bag. Travelers, uh, this one your attention, cool. please. I like it, but Tonight's like event oh. will now begin. <laughs> it seems you've met with an uncertain fate. You find yourself at an interdimensional crossroad. A rendezvous of travelers between worlds. My name is Sheen. I am a highly metastasized, infomorphic, mimetic meme complex and one of the tour guides of VR travelers. We create immersive story-based tours with original writing, beautiful worlds, voice acting, and wholesome team effort. Welcome to our point of contact to the narrative domain. Tonight, we will be telling the story of the prince. 
You are welcome to record tonight's event or stream. And, my friends, dear travelers, you're in for a treat because the air is thick with ether. Tonight, the greatest tour guide to ever walk the halls of the narrative domain <laughs> is with us. Yes, my friends, please put your hands together for the one, the only, Trey Gem. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I have to use my hands together. Good job. But this is, it's a cult. It's a cult. Wait a minute. Yeah, well, that is immediately dead. It's not a cube. It's a cube. It's a cube. It's a cube. Mess around, dude. Here's the 3D shape. Right. Be the best friend named Chase. I pulled the kernel in the room. Unfortunately, not. Yeah, I didn't know this was your handshakes, bro. I did not know this was. Yeah, I can tell. PC and me. I thought Siren was gonna be here. My no, allergies are low key sound like Charlie. Good evening, friends. Evening. Oh, friends. Good evening. Oh, friends. Good evening. As mentioned, my name is Trajim. And I will be your storyteller tonight. There are a lot of people. This is a story based tour. And as with any tour in the real world, there are rules. You can be joined. Well, one rule. Be joined if you clash. My friends, oh my I God, kindly God. ask that whenever oh we yeah, stop for guys. narration, yeah. that you all become silent. Yeah. I don't want to know. However, we are encouraged to talk amongst yourselves while we walk. I am about to drop a portal to tonight's event world. Friends, please do not enter the portal until I give the signal that it is clear to do so. Those in front of me, kindly stand aside. Drop the portal, but I'm YouTube saying Biden. that even if even if you disconnect or crash, you can always like rejoin. It's, it's fine. All right, so there's no worries. I know. It's a decent size. My All right, let's see. Not that you can much bigger. <laughs> oh no. Pretty big for me. What about for me, dude? Well, my friends, wait for me on the other side of the portal. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And now we can go. go. What? <laughs> Don't call me that. <laughs> if anything, they'll hear uh, you through. Where's Ether? Where'd you go? Come back! Here we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If anything, to the hand oh, they'll hear you through the stream. Once if a you certain want, somebody if finishes my stream. model. <laughs> yes. I will be submitting my entry. Oh man, I see these. <laughs> yes. I hate it when I sneeze. That is correct. <laughs> Wait, what handbook? <laughs> What's happening? I'm not in yeah, the I'm in the Discord. I'm not in the Discord. What are they talking about? Oh, yeah, I just need to let you know. I need to stress you a little bit, so I'm going to go grab my burrito real quick. Okay. I'm gonna look dead. Okay. Re record of events and past okay. okay. past stories we've done and hands? the overarching story Why that goes along with everything as well. You know what? It's fine. Yeah. No, don't worry about it. I, right now, just worry about the story. Man. When am I in the handbook? When am I in the handbook? <laughs> 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 it's okay, fine. I think I need to 
Okay, but Panda, yeah. Also, uh, Simmons having a dinner, so. Panda, 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 Panda,
the waves. They say that when I was born, everyone could hear it. The midwives, the guards, the servants, even the cooks and stable hands, everyone in the castle, everybody in the kingdom, everybody heard the ocean. But that didn't make sense. The ocean is nowhere near the kingdom. The oracle said it was a sign that I was different. But I never heard the waves myself. At least, not until. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, at, at least my allergies are drying up now. Good. Well then. You're blue now. Um, oh, never die, never die. die. Never die. <laughs> oh my god. Let's take a like. Right there. <laughs> can just do that. <laughs> Oh, you were in, in front of the bed this whole time. shares one oh. brain cell, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, we all share the same brain cell. This room should definitely be a different map so I can be, so I can be my home. Chapter 1. I in a castle tower. Alone in a dark chamber. A young prince trembles beneath the covers. His brow is furrowed with worry, his breath shallow and rapid, his mind is full, overflowing with grim images, twisted visions, memories of that night, hey, one friend that storm, can you grab him? that harrowing I hit storm, <laughs> dark waters churning, roiling. Nightmares plague him. They're at the entrance. Guilt they plagues him. To the blue sphere. Some of the crew members and soldiers were found along the beaches. Blue faces strangled by seaweed. Bloated. Half buried in grey sands. Then you'll have a tour guide for you. But his father was not among them. All were lost to the sea. All but the prince. He awakens with a start, saved from the darkness of his own imagination by the comfort of his own bedchamber. But the remission is short-lived. He sits up, looks left at the raindrops sliding down the glass, then right, slowly surveying the dark corners of his chamber. There's a meal on the cabinet, likely cold as stone. The thought of food upsets him, his appetite absent for one or two moons now. 
With a shaking sigh, he reaches over, scooping up a trinket from his bedside table, and he brings it close to his face, squinting in the low light to make out its details. It is a pendant from the sacred land of Lydicia, given to him by his father, the late king. All he has is this pendant, his mother, and his brother. A warmth ignites in his heart, spreading across his body, keeping the cold at bay. Strong, charming, smart, his brother is everything their parents wanted. He even went to battle alongside the Silver Aegis and came back unscathed. The people look up to him. His brother is the king they want. The chill of night begins to win the fight. The pendant loses its power as his bed pleads for him to return. Heavy covers under which he can hide and wish himself away. A fragile bulwark against a callous, ruthless world that doesn't want him. He dives back down into his refuge and... Who would be at his door at this time of night. That's me. Um, it might be because of the fact that you have... Is it one of the guard um, making sure he hasn't sure fled? It is. Oops. is it the nurse checking up on him again? Is it the zealots finally here to drag him to the tower? Rain batters the glass as he turns his head towards the door. <coughs> You're still awake? The prince sighs and nods. His brother steps out of shadow, wearing a cloak and carrying a bag. Why is he dressed at this time of night? Has anyone entered your room? The prince looks at his brother. Have they? He doesn't think so. Aside from rain and wind, the castle has been quiet. His brother seems on edge, and it makes the prince nervous. He shakes his head. Good. The brother glances toward the door. Get dressed. Grab whatever you can carry. The prince's heart sinks. Questions and fears swim in his mind like eels in a bucket of water. Is there a fire? Has Daisha finally reached the capital? Is his mother the queen sending him away? Is he finally going to prison for what he did? But none of the questions leave his lips. He just sits there, useless. Listen, his brother approaches the bed. This is serious. Put on your cloak. Take whatever you don't want to leave behind. Someone, someone is after us and... He turns suddenly to face the door. The prince tries to listen. Hurry, the brother says in a harsh whisper. Now! The prince is terrified. He climbs out of the covers and reaches down to open the trunk at the foot of the bed, rummaging for his warmest cloak, the dark blue one with the hood. What about mother? The prince's voice feels weak, as though it's about to shatter. What about the guards? The aegis? What about... No, there's no time. His voice frightens the prince. Why is he being like this? The prince finds his cloak and swings it over his shoulders. He slips a long tunic over his nightgown, fastens it with the first belt he can find, and slips into some boots. He only has time to stuff the Ludician pendant into his pocket before his brother grabs his hand and almost drags him to the door. The brother stops, gestures for the prince to be quiet, and peers out into the passageway beyond. My friends, let us follow the pair into the dark.
Okay. Yep. I, I have to reach up to grab the orb. Wow. Hi, hello. Pizza Tower. What's that clicking sound? Yep. Good game. <laughs> play it, play it. <laughs> My friends, <laughs> may I have your attention? The story okay. must continue. Shh. The prince and brother pass through an empty hall. The castle quiet thus far. But here, footsteps echo from some place ahead. <laughs> Quick, behind here, whispers the brother pressing himself against a pillar. Not a moment later, the door swings open, the sounds of armor rattling and a woman panting draw nearer. The prince holds his breath. This figure staggers past them in a rush, glancing around only briefly, and they exit the way the brothers came from. That was the Aegis. The prince's heart flutters. But... Something's wrong. She looked injured. And how didn't she notice them? The prince peers up at his brother, expecting him to go after his mentor. But he doesn't. The brother grabs his hand instead, and they use a side door. My friends, this way. Yoo-hoo! Muted. Yeah. Let's see if I can get some decent altitude this time. How do you guys even manage to jump on these boxes half the Okay. Time, At least my allergies are drying up now. Oh, that Zyrtec is a lifesaver. They always oh. come back. There you go. Let me out. Let me out. I have really bad climbing or, games. Or you can... Let me up. Thank you. Oh. Let me in. Let me in. I didn't realize that your bolt yep. gave off light. I mean, yeah. It does I am so do skipping the parkour part. Uh, it was glowing. It looks like it. It looks like it. Friends, the story continues. Why are we here? The prince asks. The brother hurries past shelves and moves to the far end of the room, ignoring the question. He starts to check everything, moving random objects, looking behind and under furniture. The prince looks at a nearby open book, some old red time. Who is after us? The brother stops. The oracle is dead. The inquisitor killed him. He looks the prince directly in the eyes, breathless, afraid. I saw it happen, and he saw me. The prince stumbles back, catching himself on a desk. The oracle? Dead? And the inquisitor is... A cold chill crawls up the back of his neck. A sick feeling boils in his stomach. 
dead. But, but the oracle said that he is the chosen one. The oracle said that he survived for a reason. The oracle said he would learn how to control it if he just went to Lydicia and... I found it. The brother steps back and dusts his hands. Here, help me move this. The two of them, carefully, quietly as they can, drag a shelf away from the wall. And behind it, low to the ground, is an old door, a secret passage. This will lead outside the castle, the brother says. Are you ready? 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 How can he be ready? No. No, this has to be a dream. It feels like a dream. A nightmare, the oracle, can't be dead. Any moment now he's going to be shaken awake by his nurse, and his mother will be right there, and for once he will welcome her presence. Yes, it's just a nightmare. Hey. Hey. The brother pulls him back. I know you're scared. I am too. But without us, Alasrath has no ruler after Mother. We're going to escape. We're going to hide. We're going to get help. And then I'm going to figure out a way to solve all of this, all right? It's going to be okay. We... We'll be okay. The prince can only bring himself to not before they both crawl into the secret passage. My friends, we must crawl in behind them. This way. Kill them. Where did Brodo go? Oh. To these fires. <laughs> Oh, this is where I live. The Fire Lord, of course. This is where I live. You're a coffee addict. Guess what? I'm coffee. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> oh, uh, perfect sense. Still eating dinner. <laughs> I'm just going to go into meme avatar. Oh. Thank you very much. <laughs> the brothers yeah, emerge the from the crawled passageway, and they find themselves in a dimly lit basement. It seems similar to the kitchen cellars, but the prince doesn't directly recognize it. Judging by his brother's face, he doesn't recognize it either. The brother begins to cross the room slowly, ch checking every footstep. The prince stops. What's that noise? A grinding, a deep rumbling. The storm returns. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. In a moonlight forest, a beast strides out of the undergrowth. It glides across the ground, argent, majestic, silent. A great silver elk. It lands, pauses, and turns back. A younger tawny elk follows, slower and with less majesty, yet bearing great promise. The great elk observes as the younger elk's shadow moves. It betrays the form, and the forest becomes dark. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options, four ways in which he can respond to this vision. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. 
I will give you all one minute to discuss what he should do, and after this time expires, one of you will be called upon to give the best answer you have heard. Your time starts now. I don't know about you all, but I heard detach. Yeah. Yeah, detach. What? I mean, detach is the, is the one we probably oh. should be doing. Yeah, detach does seem like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Yep. De defect. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Detach. It definitely does not. Dude, no. Fuck you. Detach. Damn. I did hear what? a detach in Pizza there. Tower. Oh, right. Destiny. Yes. Hypercube lies to option. Certainly. <laughs> yeah, sure. So How are, are we, we going to hear each other? Newcomers? Exactly. Exactly. You know, honestly, I just really want to know mm -hmm. what happens if the princes get captured. <laughs> Not just a fifth, but a sixth <laughs> option. Uh, and we can get to go to Who is the only person who has a microphone? There's a fifth option to your question. Oh, yes. The sixth option. option. These. My friends, your time to discuss has come to an end. <laughs> I shall call upon one of you now to give an answer. And that one is going to be none other than another lurker. Do you speak, friend? Yes. Another lurker. There we go. What is the best answer you have heard? Uh, from what I've heard, it was detached. Detached was not one of the four options. Are you certain you want to choose this? No, sorry. <laughs> it was? Live. Okay, then yes, I will stick with detached. Um, detached. Such conviction. Lurker, your choice has sealed their fate, and this is what happens. Weird. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. With this clarity, he sees the truth. He remains in the moonlit forest. The shadow continues to shift, sliding beneath the younger elk. The greater elk stamps its hoof unmoved. The shadow does not flinch. The elk stamps again, and the shadow cowers. And then the shadow turns in the direction of the prince. And the prince looks back, back at the darkness. The darkness as black as the far side of the moon. And in this vision, the prince remains. The brother carries him upon his back throughout the rest of the hidden passage. <laughs> During this time, the prince is roughly aware of his brother avoiding some zealots and the silver aegis who is working with them. My friends, Please, follow me this way. Holy Listen. shit, the world is in 4K now. Wait. Nice. Nice, very nice. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, I feel a little better now. That's 
A brief reminder hey, for regulars here. Please try not to run ahead of me as I go from map to map. You may confuse the newcomers and accidentally skip ahead of something. Yeah, yes. Hey, this is oh, a little better now, now that I took my, there, now that I took my Zyr attack. The map, but there yeah, is probably is sniffing as much. Right mm. I am glad to hear it. Let us wait a moment for everyone to arrive. <sighs> Please keep oh, me no, updated on your nose. That's what we all want. <laughs> oh, okay. Back, you're just jealous because you don't have one. What? <laughs> what? That's the thing I'm sensitive about. I'm levitating. <laughs> well, imagine being. So I like this worm. I jealousy. wish I had a worm. Worm. I am the elevated one. See, it's a My big friends, one. the a story tail. continues. I Same ask for your difference. attention. Chapter two. A final secret tunnel takes them up some steep stairs and into some long abandoned home. A chill wind whistles through cracks in the shutters, accompanied by the gentle grey of dawn. The moth-eaten rug breaks apart as the prince makes his way to the old dust-covered bed. He sits and sighs. He is tired. He is hungry and his stomach still churns. The brother goes to the window and peers outside, one hand on the handle of his sidearm. Was that there this whole time? The prince wants to ask about the sword, and he wants to ask about the Aegis, the Oracle, the Inquisitor, but his mouth is dry, and his jaw aches, and he for the first time, is afraid of the only person who has always been there then. I think it's safe here. Are you all right? His brother is looking at him. The prince nods, and the brother approaches and offers a water skin. Here, he says, have some. The prince looks at it the leather carved with their royal emblem. He wants to take it. He wants to trust his brother, but he can't. You think I attacked the Aegis, the brother says. You think I killed the Oracle. I didn't think you could hear that. Well, I did do one of those things. I attacked the Aegis. I didn't want to, but you, you must understand, I had no choice. I saw the Inquisitor with the Oracle last night. I was going to speak with the Oracle about my coronation, but I overheard their conversation. I overheard what they said about you. The Oracle called you Ocean-born. The Inquisitor is... He wields the power of miracles of fire. You know this. And I saw the fire in the Inquisitor's eyes. He thinks you were sent by the enemy. He thinks the Chosen One should be fireborn like he is. He thinks... Well, I don't really understand it. Not entirely, but... What I do know is, if I went to the Aegis for help, then she and everyone else in the castle would have faced the wrath of the Inquisitor, including Mother. <coughs> this way, this way, it's just us. This way, everyone else is safe from him. You understand, don't you? The Prince slowly lifts his gaze to meet his brother's. Something about his voice, the way he's talking, he's never heard his brother sound so afraid. He can feel the Lydician pendant in his pocket. All right, 
Look, the brother says, unbuckling his weapon, if you still don't trust me, take this. Wear it. Be the one to bear the blade. All right. The prince takes the sword from his brother. Sorry. The brother's stern visage is broken by a smile. <laughs> Come on. We need to keep moving. It won't be safe here for long. We need to get out of Moravos, and then... And then... I'll figure out what to do next. We'll find allies, someone who can best the Inquisitor. The brother stands and offers a hand, and the prince takes it. And they exit. My friends, let us follow them into the castle town of Moravos and help them find a way out. This way. Uh, in all honesty, I really... Yeah, my it's favorite the part. bangingest tune but... in the world. Yeah. <laughs> Have you heard of the High Elves? Speak the time. Good day, I sir. I swap into our avatars. Oh, Need something? Uh, well. Okay, alright. Kirby, your mm. avatar. Have you heard of the High Elves? Um, High Wing's gone. Yes. Must go. have He's... been the wind. Hi. Need something? Hello. How are you? Need something? I really am oh. curious what happens if the prince is captured. Ridiculous. Okay. Apparently, Panda pa um, said that apparently that hasn't happened yet. Hello, how are you doing? Nope. Maybe it's it has not been around. Have you seen the? It actually might be a good thing. Wait, quest, right? I don't know. Have you heard of the high My favorite anime. Tell how us, did you know? like a little bit more of what's in the kit. <laughs> I have a feeling. Possibly. I've not made the kit of light. The kit, you know, like what we might have in the final battle. Travelers, oh, no, the... I ask for your attention, for the story must continue. Though the winds howl, the town is slowly waking up. Ignorant of what had transpired overnight, rugs are shaken out of second story windows. Farmers set up stores to sell cucumbers, carrots, and cabbage. Smiths stoke their furnaces, while innkeeps sweep the past night's chaos out their front doors. The sun barely manages to break through the clouds. This way, the brother says suddenly, and it pulls the prince aside into some bushes. Not a minute later, a pair of zealots, dressed in red, approach a pair of city watchmen. Let it be known, says one of the zealots, that the princes are to be brought before the Varna church if they are found. They have committed treason of the highest order. Treason? Truly? What do you speak of? The heir murdered the oracle and has taken his younger brother as an hostage. The inquisitor fears the heir is being compromised by the enemy. But the heir has faced nations on the battlefield. You mean to tell me he queen's orders? If they are found, the Inquisitor must be notified at once. Failure to do so will result in being branded an enemy of the crown and of God. As you say, we shall spread the word. And the brothers are left alone again. Nobody can know who we are, the brother says. Don't say anything to anyone. Keep your hood up and don't let anyone see your things. The guards won't let us out of the gates before checking who we are. And we'll definitely be recognized. We just need to get to... Hmm. All right, I have an idea. I know someone who could help us. But we need to get across town. The brother looks down the road. My friends, the brothers are about to cross Moravos, but they are going to need your help.
Tonight's NPCs, Metal Gen Lurker, please come forth. Woo! NPCs, change nice. into your avatars now. Friends, these will be playing the NPCs, the city guards for this quest. Please take a moment to memorize these names and show their avatars. Oh. NPCs, please take your positions in Moraboss. Make sure you are somewhere where you cannot hear me, as I must continue the rules. Hey. Now, travelers, this quest requires that you are able to use your microphone. If you do not wish to speak, or if you think the NPCs know you personally too well, oh, Panda, you or you playing? want to opt out of this quest for any other reason, Please okay. stand behind the boxes behind me. Everyone else, please take a moment to form pairs and stand in your pairs clearly. Ether, oh, I've never yeah. paired with you. Don't worry, we can be a group. Boy. It's Kirby, if you can't find anyone, uh, we're more than happy to take it. I suppose I've been taken. I don't know where Debbie went. I can't see Team, I like the episode where everyone formed pineapples instead of pears. We have a mission today. I'm fine either way. Wait, was that after or before the beach episode? The beach episode? Which one? That's every second episode. Oh, you're ahead of me. I need to catch up. My apologies. I should have tagged that with a spoiler. Uh, travelers, your attention. Is there anybody who does not have a pair? Please stand below me. Equalization. Skull. Pack lover. Devi. Zoral. All of you who are standing below me, please take a moment to form pairs now among yourselves. Have you done this before? <laughs> this is going to be my third time. <laughs> Nalu and Skull, you are a pair. Equalization and Devi, you are a pair. Are there three left? Uh, Smile, do you have a pair? I'm their yeah, we got, we got a third party here. Tricky and Zoro, you are a pair. Everyone is accounted for. My friends, the rules are as follows. Please listen carefully. This is what the NPCs will be doing. They will be roaming the city, and they will question you as pairs, so please stay together in your pairs. If they address you, you must answer their questions. No other conversation is allowed between the travelers and the NPCs. This is what you will all be doing. You'll have this time to wander the city of Moravos, together as pairs. You may talk amongst yourselves or with other travelers. When questioned, you must all answer the NPCs' questions truthfully. Except the princes who must lie. And the princes are a secret pair chosen by me right now. Tonight I'm going to choose two pairs of princes. Pair one, Devian Equalization. You must lie to the guards. Do you understand? We got that. <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. Got it. <laughs> and pair two. Aya Iri at the back. Who is your pair? Sly Lion. <laughs> Hi. Hmm. I think it's been a while since I've chosen you, Sillen. Is that correct? Two weeks ago, by the chest. Two weeks ago, if you don't oh, mind, I'm going to choose back. someone who hasn't been the prince for a while. Or at all. Uh, 
haven't been a prince for a month. Well, I'm Zoro and Tricky Cat, have you been the prince in recent history? No. Nope. I have. Uh, I did it with the Magic Coco, though. But Zoro hasn't. <sighs> hmm. Lazuli, who is your partner? Smiles is my partner. Lazuli and Smiles. You are the second pair. You must lie to the guards. Do you understand? Now, no role playing is required. You'll be answering questions about your real life. None of you may give any indication whatsoever about who the princes are. You may attempt to hide from the NPCs, but this may come across as suspicious behavior. I am going to give you all 10 minutes to roam the city of Moravos. At the end of this time, you will hear the town bell. Please then come and find me. After this point, the NPCs will privately discuss which pairs they think were playing as the princes and lying to them. Your goal is to keep their identities secret. My friends, your 10 minutes starts now. All right, we gotta go find the candles. Those who are skipping the quest, please follow me to the end. I'm I'm well familiarized with this meat zealots. I used to work there before I became a pizza man. In here, friends. You have ten minutes to spend however you please. And with that, I'll hold tab for a bit. Yep, that's actually where we'll end up at the end. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yep, and this is um public guide is in front of you. <laughs> is this supposed to be like an old <laughs> burner? Probably. Or if there's a way to make them up. Maybe. Maybe not. Oh, oh, oh. Hang on. Maybe. No, it's not letting me. So I have to open up the pack. Hello. Please explain why you. I will be open ends if you need to. Well, I don't see anything up there. I mean, there's a good deal. How do you get up there? Oh, wait, where are we? <laughs> that way went the wrong way. Yeah. Huh, I guess we make you turn. I don't know how to change. My, I don't know how to change my facial expressions on this. Pimon Nick, one, two, three. I think you just proposed to me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. Well, I'm sorry. I don't 
don't know if you can hear me, Piemon Nick, Pop, one, two, three, but you have no right being that handsome. <laughs> you too, Trajim. Don't for think I've forgotten about your your law-breaking handsomeness. I just want to go get a comfy sleep, you know? I got laser beams on my ass while I was in the toilet. <laughs> it's a beautiful town. It's a quite beautiful town. I like the whole, like the whole, you know, uh, terrain. Uh, that's nice. So, uh, quite claustrophobic. <laughs> A, d a little bit claustrophobic, but you know that's fine, right? Dude, I swear, yeah. they never do the safety inspections. One <laughs> single fire in one house, everything's gone. One I ridiculous. That's sad. There's a few places that end up like that. Oh yeah, specifically in this time, I feel like. It would definitely be. And the hole, of course. So did do you know the, the story of the hole? You gotta you gotta uh, wish. So the tr th it's like a fountain, but without coins. Ah. Uh, so it's just so darkness. Then what do you throw in it? Uh, you're what are you looking at? Nothing. <laughs> the ground? Is there ground down there? Down there? Down there? Or does it just keep going? <laughs> what if I drop a coin down there? Do you think we can, like, hear as much? Hello, then. <laughs> what if you drop a coin up there? Yeah, we'll go that way in a little bit. Is it um, behind its window? No. <laughs> I've tried so much to get in there. Give me a second, guys. A tree. Looks like. Is somebody growing marijuana here? <laughs> Hopefully not. Can you climb the walls? Oh yeah, kind of wall jump. That's it. 
Alright. Use your pearl for this quest. I learned. Well, it works better for us. I see. It's only in the corner. I hope you're enjoying your stay in Morivon. The weather could be better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think it's pretty good. Second time here. So some people like cloudy days. I think cloudy days can still be beautiful. No, we pass. I think you're beautiful. Take care. Bumped away. Take care. We are so good. Trade. Wait, trade. Wait, Jim. I have a wait. Or Sheen, either one. I have a serious question to ask. Is a hot dog a sandwich? Interesting question. You want me to interrogate the tray? Yes, interrogate the tray. I suppose it is not, because the, the bread pieces are joined, and a sandwich yes. requires them to be separate. That is true. We're going to interrogate Jean, then we'll interrogate the tray. Wait a minute. Jean. Wait, one. So, yeah, the breads are connected, Do but you know where one, the, two, the secret key three. to is? A hot dog not a sandwich. It's a taco! taco. I heard there were clues Two. to it in the Three. anime. Four. Oh. Pineapple, oh, panic. Pineapple, Pineapple panic. panic. That's where it is. No, I need to watch it to find. I need to watch it to find the a clues. A hot dog is not a sandwich. It's a taco. Yes. This is, this is the journey it has, that has that is spawned sides. during the the prince <laughs> tour is is to get my ten piece confession. Sides, it's a sushi. <laughs> Trajan has it seen has more episodes of Pineapple oh, Panic than I have. He would be a better source than I. This way. My Naruto sandstorm. It'd be funny. My little jukebox. To keep. To keep. Day day of keep. Do you know Naruto sandstorm? Careless whisper. Break Ashley. The law of the law of bread. Together forever and ever. If there's bread on two sides, it's a sandwich. If there's bread on three sides, it's a it's a. And I will move away. If there's bread on three sides, it's a taco. If there's bread on four sides, it's a burrito. If there's bread on three sides, no no no. If it's high, no 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 no. If there's bread on four sides, it's a sushi. What if it has bread on twelve sides? But that depends on its orientation. No, a hot dog is a taco. If there's bread on all six sides, then it's quiche. Yeah. No, it is the love child of a sandwich and a taco. Well, no, they're talking about the two I don't, I don't think we'll ever even continue, like, finish the princess. I think that's yeah. just about lots being tacos and cubes. Yeah. 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 I think that's the hot dog is soup. Hello? I mean, if the Pop-Tarts are ravioli, I don't know how to respond to this. It doesn't follow any logic. That's so insightful. Oh, it's way oh. down there. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is sweet once you chew it. The new Nostradamus of our age. Pardon? <laughs> You're the greatest. Yeah. Someone's oh, gotta, mystical uh, cube of storytelling. What is your wisdom? <laughs> yes. I mean... One, 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 one Nostradamus, you know, spends his time traveling in secrets of the universe and looking into the future. The other looking yes. into hot, hot pockets of the other rabbit hole. Yeah. Yeah. Here's exactly. some more wisdom yeah, so for you. Skull Z. That's for the Incog. Thoreau, how'd you get up there? I'm up hardcore. There. Thank you for being my partner. All lines count to ten. Before you speak up, when someone is sharing something sensitive with you. Friends, we are gathered here today to wait for the NPCs to discuss who they think the imposters were. Let's give them a minute. Hey. Oh. No, not even the prince is just the imposter. Mm. Oh. No, just the imposters. I can't stop Given the church bells, I thought it was the wedding, my bad. <laughs> You can't stop us from telling it's jokes? Sunday. It's my sense of humor. Why do you say that? <laughs> could... A joke. It's Sunday, Jim. It's uh, morning, Jim. <laughs> it made me jump. He's dead, Jim. Sorry, I'm a bit distracted. I'm trying Wait, to read a joke. plot synopsis on the latest episode of Pineapple Panic. I have it's joke. Pizza jam again. <laughs> Can I tell my joke? Be very disappointed in you. 
Hey, I, I have a joke. I have a joke. I think, I think mm. okay. might. <clears throat> Okay. I think they I might. What did one of these say to the, the other people? Bush said that pineapple is a good cut. <laughs> to talk. Nothing. It just waved. I think they're uh, going oh? I think they're going okay. to say it. To... What, is, what, is, what was the one I was workshop? I want to be prepared for the joke. Who's telling a joke? Oh. Oh. What did the aliens say when he did the oh. decision? Oh. They are back. They are it back. was out of this world. <laughs> oh my god, that was... That's a, that's a nice uh, oh, what did one yeah, wall fella. say to the other wall? Mm. Shh. Agreed. Oh, sorry. I, I see. I realize, sorry. Travelers, here's a joke for you. Hmm. <laughs> Is it California? <laughs> Is it Ohio? It's actually, Ohio. Now that's yeah, more the joke that. is so good that it's that only people who have fourth dimensional hearing can hear it. That's Here's how good it is. For you. <laughs> I just said it. My friends, the yep. quest has come to a it's close, and it is time for the NPCs to present their accusation. NPCs, town guards, who inexplicably sound like Sean Connery in the cutscene. Which pair do you think were the princes tonight? For me, I believe the pair is Nayula and Skull. Come on, Nalu. <laughs> Sorry. Every time. Every time. <laughs> it's okay. Nalu and Skull. That is the accusation. Did the guards spot the princes? Or did both pairs of princes get away scot free tonight? Well, tonight's princes, all four of you, please come forth. Four? Hey. Trying to get out of bounds. Right. That's you right. Lazuli, Smiles, Equalization, and Devi. <laughs> all four of them. Moment. They multiplied when you weren't looking. I'm gonna drown you. truly did, because I was only able to question two of them. <laughs> you only the power of my toast. They were in two separate pairs. I chose two pairs of princes tonight. They got off ah. skull free. We hit good. No. <laughs> the only thing That's I'm drowning bad. in Travelers. is your beauty. <laughs> this story must continue. I ask for your attention once more. It is time to get comfortable. Was it the pineapple? Or the sandwich? What I think came it was the first? Sandwich. God. Science just said it's a big bomb. As he walks across Marvos, the prince tries to shrink back into his cloak. His brother strides ahead, swift and confident. How does he do it? Every Moravian looks at them, stares at them. Do they know? Do they know who they are? Suddenly, he bumps into his brother as he comes to an abrupt stop on a bridge. He looks past his brother. A city watchman is there, talking to an elderly couple across the bridge. The guard's back is to the brothers. The brother backs up quietly and guides them both around another way. As they leave, the prince glances over at the old couple, and he can see the old woman looking at him. She points the guard in the opposite direction. A short while later, the prince stops. That noise. What is that noise? A grinding. A deep rumbling. The storm returns. I'm blue dabba dee dabba die. Dabba dee dabba da. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Amidst vague, Towering structures, a blue bird flits, 
darting from corner to corner, desperate. Giving pursuit is a red feline, stalking calmly, yet appearing in places where it should not be. The bird is frantic, its movements urgent and panicked. It tries to stay silent, yet every beat of its wings betrays its location. And everything begins to redden. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, and distract. I'll give you one minute to discuss what he should do. After this time expires, I will call upon one of you to give your best answer. Your time starts now. Okay, I'm not sure if you heard, but I heard detach. I heard detach. I, I think detach is a good idea. That sounded like a good one. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know about you. Yeah, I heard it's the same as the first one. You know, Are you sure you're not just double jointed? Actually, I'm curious what happens if we say destroy. Exactly. Destroy. You know, like destroy something. All I gotta know is like detach. You can say destroy. I guess three is at some point, but for now, detach. Oh, sorry. Sorry, that was weird. What does he know? Felt like an intrusive program was there for a second. Um, detach. I think I'm missing hypercube. What's not trash? What do you want to call it? Intrusive doesn't know anything. The intrusive thoughts always seem to win. They're just more team 95% of the time. That would be the way you get that. Impulsive indeed. There, that's your fun fact. Curiosity killed the cat. The good ending brought it back. My friends, your time for discussion has ended. Hmm. I am going to call upon the boundless wisdom of Daffidwidja. And then some kanji. <laughs> do you speak, friend? Oh. Yes, I do speak. <clears throat> Greetings. What would you like Greetings. the prince to do in response to this vision? I would like the I prince to detach. detach. Oh. Did you say okay. detach? <laughs> I did indeed. Dafford, would you? That was not one of my answers. Are you sure? I'm as sure as my name is Daviv. That's what I said. Very well. <laughs> the choice has been made. <laughs> <laughs> Continue. Mm -hmm. Damn, we didn't destroy. Oh, Panda. <laughs> oh, wait, where'd Panda go? Save your destructive that tendencies for the village in creative good. Minecraft. Boom. Yes. yes. The prince takes a step. Huh? I back appreciate this. from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside its bounds. With this clarity, he sees the truth. He remains among the strange structures fleeing from the fireborn beast. The red intensifies and with it comes an unnatural warmth, glowing, rising, burning. But Throbbing. it doesn't need to. For this exists within the prince's mind, and his mind is his own. He stops running. He turns back. The fireborn is there. The prince takes control. He looks down into his own hands and realizes that he can defy the power of his enemy. He can defy. And in this vision, the prince right remains. Here is the entrance to make zealots. The brother carries him upon his back through the rest of the city. The prince is vaguely aware of being taken into the home 
of a veteran knight with a shimmering sword above the mantelpiece. Oh. He is aware oh. of his own brother attacking the friendly veteran before escaping into a hidden passage through the city underwood. My friends, let us follow them. <laughs> oh, there's there it is. Good measure. measure time. House. Oh. Poor old man. We've All skipped right. him for the past, I don't know how many weeks, but... Yeah, rip old man. Head. Was it? How much it's longer? down here. It's like, it's yeah, um, the past it's going to be at least right another. Off the counter and rolled under the fridge and forgotten about for seven weeks. Oh, damn. At least oh, they remembered after seven weeks. True. <laughs> I would still eat you, is what I would say if I were a cannibal. Uh. <laughs> okay, alright, noted, thank you. What's this? Okay. We don't have break here. Yeah, we don't have break here. We don't have break here, we break after the forest. So stupid, stupid. Because of the action yes. taking in the story, the break yes. is on the break. Or is here. Dude, dude, shut the fuck up, here. Soup is on the break. I thought. I've been here the entire time. Like I'm serious. Yeah, soup is on the break, and the break is after we complete the forest quest. Wait, stare at the there you like the, the spine when it comes to age. Yeah. But I heard sometimes yeah, in like are. the elbows or like the neck. Ready for some soup? Or are you oh, going to do it with your back? Uh, I think your soup's going to be a little later on. Because... Uh, okay, probably so during the break. Yeah, need... during yeah the I think break. it's before the break. Uh, I think, mm. but... Also, I don't think that this is actually going to be Someone else has a campfire now. No. Oh, no, it's not the break. We no, got the campfire, we just yeah, need the Yeah, they, they, they moved the move break to later. Uh, uh, it's oh. not really fish soup, is it? Like, yeah. Not nice. really fish soup, is it? More uh, like fish rotisserie. Uh, Why is it blue? It, Who wants some fish rotisserie? It's green. That's because it's phantasmal flame. I survived because the fire within burned bright up in the fire that was around me. I want some, I want some good pepper on it. Can't see my marshmallow, I think it's burning. What is this? We can't expect God to do all the work. Ah! Alright, chill out there, honest hearts. Ooh, look at that I golden mean, marshmallow. Yeah. Now that is Ether, quality no. if I've ever seen yeah, it. I'm not I may, anymore. I may not be able to breathe water, but I can give you the... Glug also, glug. s'mores are amazing. <laughs> yes, they are. Oh, no, not Mega Waluigi. Can you hear me? I'm not He's awfully quiet. I wonder if I can get away with a song. If you reset your cash, you are, you are, you are you going to do it? Are you going to do it? Travelers, your attention, oh, no. please. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. The story continues. Chapter 3 It's after sundown by the time the brothers emerge. The underworks tunnel had led them to an old mill, and from there they followed trails until coming upon the eastern road. Maravos looms in the distance gently glowing in the moonlight as the prince slumps to the ground. His legs and feet ache. His stomach growls. He's tired and he's sore and he's short on breath. 
his brother is just checking through a bag he's carrying. How does he do it? How does he keep going? Can't we go back? The prince bites his lip. He didn't mean to say that loud. Go back. Go back and what? Face the fireborn? He'll kill you. And then he'll lock me away or kill me as well. He'll tell everyone that the oracle chose him. And nobody could disagree. The Varna church will change forever. Mother will be powerless to stop him. And then Daisha will invade. The people will have to live under one of two monsters. We're not going back. Not until I find a way to stop the Inquisitor. And while I search, I'm going to stop the Dacians. We'll go to Felden, and we'll warn them. We'll help defend the town. I'll kill every Dacian if I have to. We can still make a difference. I won't have another lake fort. Do you hear me? We still... Stop it! Stop. Stop. Please. Please, stop. You're scaring me. Sorry, I, I just... It's just you and me. There's nobody else who can save us. It's just us. Listen. I'm scaring you, I... I see that. I didn't like to see you so afraid. But I'm doing what must be done. I'm doing... Do you remember when you were little? And we found that nest in the old tower. We spotted the mother, a blue wing, coming back to feed her chicks that evening. We named them as well. Dusty. And Pickle Pickle Little Pickle And then the cat found the nest The mother bird fought so fiercely But You asked me why that had to happen And do you remember what I said? Vana is kind. Life is cruel. That's right. Right now, two little birds have to leave the nest. The cat is after them. If the birds aren't in the nest, then the mother can fly to safety, and the cat can't reach her. But this cat is sly, and it's going to try and trick other animals into helping it. So those two little birds might have to do some things that might seem bad just so they don't get eaten. They might have to, well, learn to fly, perhaps, or find another cat who will help them. The prince nods. He can see how hard it is for his brother. He doesn't want to do the things he's doing. He has to. Day. They need to survive. He wants to reach out for his brother. He wants to hug him. But he can't bring himself to move. We can go through the Duke's Weald, the brother says, standing. It will be dangerous, but it's the fastest way to Felden. Do you still have my... The brother stops and looks down. The prince is hugging him tightly. Hey, it's all right. It's all right. Look, when this is over, we will sail to Laodicea, the same sacred lands. We'll go together, just you and me. Would you like that? 
the prince wipes his face. Leticia, really? Do you swear? The brother smiles, and the world gets a little brighter. I swear. My friends, the brothers have a perilous task ahead. They must cross the Duke's world in the dark of night, and they're going to need your help. Please follow me. Okay. Now the fun begins. Mm. Come on, Highline. Mm -hmm. I'm never good at knowing where all the locations of stuff is. I think they change every time. Yeah, oh, do they? Worry, yeah, they do. They are random, yes. Oh shit, they do. No, mm -hmm. they are random places. Oh, well, they are. Go. Oh no, then. Somebody is already going to wreck the Yay, it's it's a a so, oh, my favorite. <laughs> oh. Doesn't matter if you map yes. everything out then. Keep that, keep that. Unless there's like the specific no, spots no, that you general... can like put pin down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's no, general areas to look for, but beyond that, <laughs> that too. Travelers, and wood. Don't forget about wood. Welcome to the Duke's world. NPCs, Metal Gen, Lurker, please come forth. Change into <laughs> your Duke's world avatars now. How very that one looks spooky, familiar. scary. Ooh. Oh, it's my brethren. Very appropriate. Very appropriate. Everyone else, stay. Is this Zelda? Here. NPCs, please go through and prepare for the quest. Everyone else, I have rules to convey to you for this second quest. Are they through? Yes. Mm -hmm. I believe they are through. Travelers, the Duke's world at night is not a safe haven, but it does bear resources that they may need on their journey. The rules for your quest are as follows. Navigate your way through the Duke's world, which, according to legend, is haunted. Collect as many resources as you can, each traveler, each of you, has five bundles of wood and five clusters of berries to find. You must avoid the Duke's Wheeled Phantom. Its terror will render you immobile for several seconds, costing you valuable time. The Phantom can teleport to any Phantom Fire at any point in time, so stay vigilant. You are being observed. Please. Avoid using avatars that are very tiny, very large, or invisible. Once you have completed your mission, you can either make your way to the end, where I will be waiting for you, or stay behind to act as a distraction for the Phantom. Please do not use teleportation shortcuts while partaking in this quest. After your five minute timer expires, all the remaining resources will disappear and you will be escorted to the end. Give me a moment to confirm that the NPCs are ready. All right. Travelers, your five minutes starts right now. I'm already confused. I took off and didn't know exactly where I'm going. And you think anyone knows where we're going? Wood right here. Wood. Wood needed. Don't forget to look up. 
Hey, oh. Fucking laugh. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I'm just following you. <laughs> you seem to be finding everything. <laughs> I, I have a I have a strategy I do. Nice. Well, clearly it worked. Log. Poop log. Log. Log ferry. Ferry. Did anybody think they're clever falling behind me? I don't know. Oh, there's a berry. A vegan berry. And a berry. Right here. Down here somewhere. One more, one more, one more. Where'd you go? Bah. I have them all. Barry. He's over there somewhere. Okay. Barry's Panda, don't move. I'm coming for you. There is one over here as well. There's one over here. I think I already got that one. Let so, me um, try so going in here. this way then. Here's one. I got like nothing. That's better. Hey. Barry. Oh wait, you're not the phantom. Okay. Okay. There we go. There we go. Come on. We're getting there. We're getting there. Come on. Phantom. Thousands of years roaming the sea. Any more wood? Uh, I'm missing so much monster. wood. I'll fight it. Don't touch me. right here. Uh, somewhere like over here, I think. Like somewhere. Oh, I may have already gotten that one. Darn. What? <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, I managed to get him. Get him. Go get him. There. Get him. Scare Steal. him away. Get him. Scare him away. Oh, fight you. Fight me. I'm trying, man. Fight I'm me. trying. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, just needs one more. I'm going to get over here. Come on. <laughs> Scare him away. This one's very angry. This one's very angry. Always <laughs> scared okay, for his life. Hey, yeah, just send me that. Ten seconds left. Soup. 
Sue! Sue! It's empty. I call this one the campfire song song. Uh, you know, Let's they, gather they... around the campfire and sing our campfire song. Our C A M P F I R E S O N G song. And if you don't think that we can sing it faster than your own, but it'll help if you just sing along. I lied. I did not give you one more time. Uh, did, you, did you hear my panic steam ring as I was trying to get away? Person who is trying to chase you away with the laser beam. If they were, if they were Dialga with a laser beam, I couldn't see it. I had no room. Also, no room to download their avatar because it was too big. You killed him, Drontag. I ask for your attention. This quest has come to a close. For those interested, as a group. You collected an average of 8.9 resources each. That is nice. the second highest I believe you have ever gotten. Well done. Damn. I am ashamed of myself, but proud of you all. Very nice. The brothers come to a clearing. A steep river cuts through the middle of it. Nearby, moss-covered bricks sit, indifferent as the forest slowly consumes them. The boys drink and refill their flasks and wash their faces. The prince catches a glimpse of himself in the glittering water. He barely recognizes this face. He looks unkempt, disheveled, common. He pulls his cloak in tight and sits back. We can rest here tonight, the brother says, gathering some sticks together. The prince watches as his brother soon has a small fire burning. He lies down beside it as the brother sits against an old piece of masonry. The prince stares at the fire and the flames stare back. His face warm, his back cold. How does he do it? The prince thinks to himself. How does he keep going like this? I just want to hide. I want it all to end. He's good at everything. I'm not good at anything. The past few days catch up to him, and within minutes he slips into a deep sleep. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. Across a twilight meadow, a pack of black wolves bound, long grass whipping by. They are on the hunt, following a scent on the cool wind. But the hunters are also hunted. For something else stirs the grass, and though it evades the eyes, its presence can be felt. A sense of something imminently wrong. A feeling that things are not how they should be. A shadow is in pursuit. My friends, you have a choice to make. 
The prince has four options. Descend, divulge, dwell, distract. I will give you one minute to discuss what he should do. Your time starts now. Distract. Defy. Detach. These nuts. These nuts. Detach. These nuts! <laughs> yes. Oh, brother. Give, Dis give beat the wolves a stick. Track. Make a distance. Distance track. Could have to be a D Make Dormier. a diss track. Make a diss track. Uh, track. Roll the No one's roll the stuff. Doing uh, a history. Anyone outside of the five diss track would three discover. Do you dream? My friends, your time to discuss is over. I'm going to call upon the one known as Axe the Iron Knight. Do you speak? I do. Hopefully we can do Very well. Right. Make your choice. What will the prince do? Uh... I will admit I was a little distracted during part of the conversation, but I did hear detach. You did hear detach. Yes. Well, you have said the word. Your choice has been locked in. There's no going back from here. The prince takes a step back from himself. He observes his own fear, his own experience. He observes the vision from outside. And with this clarity, he can see the truth. The shadow closes in on the Dacians. They do not seem aware of it at all. It draws closer and closer, ever silent, ever dark, until it reaches the soldiers and it becomes one of them. The shadow has joined them, and they are oblivious. The shadow draws its blade, and instinctually the prince grabs the grip of his own sword, readying himself. But the shadow does not strike the Dacians. It does not strike. And they continue their march with the intruder among them. And before long, they are over the next hill, leaving the prince alone. I just figure out what that vision is. Oh! <laughs> wake up. Come on, wake up. I'm awake. Ten more minutes. The prince is shaken awake. The sky is a soft blue gray, and the brother is crouched over him, looking elsewhere. There are voices nearby. The prince rubs his eyes and turns to look. Across the river are soldiers in black, carrying spears and swords with foreign emblems on their shields. Dacians, the brother whispers, gritting his teeth. The veterans said they might be here. Either they're preparing to besiege Felden or they've already taken it. Hmm. Maybe I can find their camp, find their general and... He looks down at the prince, and his expression softens. Come on, let's get a closer look. We need to know what they're up to. They gather their things, scoop dirt over the charcoal, and carefully make their way across the river to the other side of the clearing. 
my friends, Dacians, are dangerously close. This way. Let's hope this wall is fixed. Great. They don't make any mistakes. What do you mean? Okay, I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Alright. I don't know how it took me this long, but... The shadow is the brother. Yes. Are you good? Oh. Yeah. Ether, yeah. Ether, Ether, Ether. <laughs> we get it. You're a bit slow. Don't worry. I'm sorry. I do not have the Steinfeld theme on my music box protocol. Would you like me to vocalize it for you? Oh. <laughs> 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 The story. The break is just ahead, friends. Fear not. The brothers hide in the undergrowth. The outer walls of Felden loom over the trees, scarred by past battles, defaced by nature. There's a large gathering of Dacian soldiers just outside the small gate, bringing supplies inside. So Felden has already been taken by Dacia. There are too many of them, the brother whispers. But maybe... The brother creeps forward a couple of steps, lifting himself just a little higher. The prince's heart jumps. Is he going to just run in and fight them? How can they not see him? When the gate is clear, run inside and hide in the town. I'll find you. What? I'm going to draw them away. Are you ready? I... I think so. The brother turns back to the Dacians. There are at least seven of them left after the rest went inside. The brother scoops up a fist-sized rock into one hand. And they wait. And they wait. And without warning, the brother jumps to his feet and breaks into a sprint. He ditches the rock at a soldier and it strikes him square in the helmet. There's a cry, then yelling, and they call him names the prince has never heard before. The brother runs to the left, diving back between the trees, moving parallel to Felden's outer wall. Five soldiers give chase. Two remain, and they seem hesitant to follow. They both draw their swords, staring in the direction they all went. Wait. His brother's sword. He might need it, but it's too late. He unsheathes it, just in case. Even in the dull light of dawn, its golden gilding glints. Who's there? The prince looks up. The two soldiers are coming his way. He must have made some noise. He freezes and holds his breath. His blood begins to drain from the top of his body. His legs go numb. No, no. Lose interest. Turn around. Go away. Leave me alone. Please. Please. Hey! There's someone in the trees! The prince scrambles into a sprint away from them. He hears Dacians yelling after him, thudding through the underbrush. Go away, stop following me. Around a tree, under a log, over a rock, through tall grass. Are they getting closer? Are they getting further away? He can hear their boots pounding the ground, their swords slashing through low-hanging branches, their heavy breaths on the back of his neck. No, 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 leave me alone. He keeps running, and he slips suddenly on muddy ground, and then... The ground vanishes, the forest rises, careening overhead as he topples. 
into ice-cold waters. My friends, please follow me. Okay. Uh, uh, I think uh, I right. did catch the camera Just pass, a bit. right? Not really. <sighs> I think because again, black oh. screen of death. You going for uh, a Okay. Well, my friends, at this point in the story, we have a designated break. Have a snack, rehydrate, and use the restrooms if you need to. Please, within four minutes, be back here for the story to continue. I'm not, quite, I'm not in the mood for the horses quick. Uh, see yeah. the chance, I'm afraid, uh, but wait, I don't know if you the heard camp me at all when I was saying I was crashing. So, okay. Bath time. I'll still oh, yeah. check. Sorry, bother okay. me when I'm about to okay. take right. this. I'm going to, I'm going to okay, I'm going to go into, uh, I'm going to right. AFK. Go. Okay. Mm. All right, this time I'm not going to crash because apparently I'm not the only one who crashed. I'm Excellent. Is it dangerous to put electronics into a cookware? Personal space. Put it in the microwave. Put your laptop in the microwave. Do it. Do it now. I can rotate do better. Question, do it. Oh, 
I do, but Five, it's reverse call. No. One, nine, two, seven, four. One, nine, two, seven, four. Anyone writing this down? Four. Nine, two, zero, two, eight. Yes? Nine, two, zero, two, eight. Oh, in my... <laughs> I, I was on my other screen watching BMG. I, I, I'm looking at some new mods. Why? Is this, is it... I'm staring at you intensely now. You know, Pokemon, I honestly never thought of it that way. Yeah. Why are you shooting, bitch? Does anyone have a plan to use this bank? <laughs> I'm sorry, I only have marshmallows. I'm dead. One, seven, five, 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 yes. Oh, yes. Imagine one, giving food seven, after a swamp. Five, zero, My friends, seven, your attention, please. Three, uh, one, three, pack? Nine, oh, after the tour? Yes, That's if, if I see pack. I didn't even think of that. I will do that, because I, I, I want to stick around to see what ending we actually get. I heard that we got a different one. Across the bridge. Don't make me throw a tomato in your direction. Yes. Hey, oh. <laughs> I'll do it. Pressure. Tomato. My friends, the break yes. has come to a close. Please oh. remain somewhere where you can hear me. The story must continue. Story. Chapter 4. <laughs> what the dog the doing? Comes too. Something oh. is pulling on oh, his leg. Oh, oh. He opens his eyes to see a mangy yeah. dog trying to drag him by the ankle. He panics and kicks at it, and not expecting retaliation, it darts away with a yelp. He takes in his surroundings. He's inside a town, right by the water's edge, utterly soaked. He shivers and sits up. Everything hurts. He looks up, up, up at the town's structures and the sword. Ah, oh, it's still here, firmly in its sheath. He makes sure it's out of sight, gets to his feet and heads into the town of Felden. My friends, please, kindly follow me. Old people warning. Old people warning. Because I am ahead. <laughs> How dare you <laughs> mimic me and hop on rooftops? I'm kidding. <laughs> All the spinning made me dizzy. <laughs> just spin in the other direction. No. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's yeah. Why does everyone is... linger so far away? Talk. That is a wonderful question, oh magical story Q. Uses hookshot. <laughs> <laughs> so, what was that that was playing through the, you know, the when I was AFK? We need Operation Move Your Hiney. Friends, the story that was that to you. Your that attention, was please. Okay. okay. Mm. The prince hears a commotion ahead. There is a line of people holding wooden bowls outside a door. He can see Dacian soldiers within, giving out the same amount of food to each person. Next in line is an old lady who can barely place one foot before the other. Please, kind sirs, if I may, I would like a little more than usual. My dear canine friend, his name is Riot, you see. He's 
going hungry. He's all skin and bones. Please, sir. Hey, that's not fair, says a townsman right behind her. Why does she get more? Peace, peace, orders the soldier. He regards the elderly woman carefully. Hmm, fine, have extra, but just this once. Oh, bless you, Vana, bless you. And here, seems like you're having trouble walking. The soldier offers her a wooden stick. The elderly woman is overcome. The prince turns away, wanting to distance himself from the scene. These are just normal people, he says to himself, quietly. They didn't do anything wrong. As he hurries away, he bumps into a group of strangers. He mutters an apology and tries to move around them, but they block his exit. He peers up carefully. Those faces. Well, look who we have here. Zealots. The prince feels panic bubble up inside him. He wants to shout for help, but there are so many people about. Dacians might help the zealots. A fight might break out. Innocent people will get hurt. No. No, there's too much risk. Come now, <laughs> lad. No more running. My friends, the prince has no choice. This way. Did we up? We are captured. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yes. <laughs> Alan. <laughs> no, not yet. Alan Trump. Is this is this where the secret of Aaron's father is? No. Yep. The game is in. Okay. Oh. There you go. Oh. I'm scared. I also have it. I can give it to you later. The zealots lead the prince down some old rock hewn steps and through another door, and the passage opens up to a large and dark room. Carved niches hold sickly candles. Many figures in red stand near the corners, watching. Silent. Fireborn, says one of the zealots. We have the prince. A shadow slowly turns. It is a titan of a man with a broad chest, square shoulders, draped in dark crimson robes. His face is like a statue, chiseled and weathered. Bearing a fearsome grin. Ah, oh, the young prince, how I have searched for you. Tell me, where is your brother? Where is the heir? We found him alone, Fireborn. Within the shadow spotted by the west gate was the heir but he hasn't been seen since. It matters not. It is you I want, Oceanborn. Yes, your brother told you, did he not? 
I assume he saw the whole thing. Else, why would he flee with you the way he did? The Inquisitor approaches, the shadow of his shadow creeping closer. Listen to me very carefully. If your brother told you I want you dead, he was lying to you. What use would you be to me then? Indeed, I am the one chosen by God. I am the fireborn wielder of the infernal miracles. And you, you and I, share a goal. I have no desire to take the lives of any of your family members unless they leave me no choice. No, the death I seek is that of Dacia. And you do too, do you not? What would your brother say were he here? He fought against Dacia. They have tried to invade us for decades now. Why, evil Dacian spirits destroyed Lakefort and started the whole war, didn't they? Didn't they? You see it. You see it, don't you? You didn't just have a vision. No, you summoned a great power. You made the earth open its maw. You destroyed Lakefort. The war started because of you. Don't you see? You and I are so alike. We both wield miracles. The only difference, my prince, is that you have no idea how to harness it. That is no fault of yours. That is where I come in. As one chosen by God, it has been re revealed to me through divine wisdom that you are my enemy. But it doesn't have to be this way. I know how to help you. The Church of Varna as a place just for you. Lazarus as a place for you. I have for you a gift. A crown. Your crown. Not that of a king, but that of a mighty wielder of miracles. Sire, accept this gift. Release your potential. Place it upon your head. Feel the crown beckoning. The prince stares at the circlet offered to him. Two parallel bands with a dull shine, otherwise featureless. Lakeford, his brother, Dacia. The prince watches as the circlet glows with a lower. The war with Dacia is his fault. The Inquisitor is right. He must be right. He must be. Do I want to wear the crown? Do I want to wear the crown? I do. The prince accepts what is offered to him. The moment he makes eye contact, heat passes through him, rippling, coursing, leaving numbness in its wake. He raises it up, places it upon his head, and the Inquisitor smiles, and everything is changed forever. He sees the storm again, but this vision is not like the others. The waves churn, the wind cuts, the thunder rolls, the storm is real. It is here, and it is hellfire. Flames roar outward, filling the underground space in an instant. All is red, then white, then blinding, searing. The prince screams, the fly rolls back.
And then... My eyes are on fire. My headache has intensified. Fire. It's safe now. Darkness returns. And in this darkness, embers glow. Cooked stone, scorched corpses, everything choked with soot and ash. The prince gets up and looks for the Inquisitor. Is he dead? Did the firestorm take his life? No. Rising up with him is a great shadow. Though the zealots have been reduced to mere embers, another stands, towering, indomitable, fire-born. And the Inquisitor speaks and cinders fall from his mouth. My prince, come, we have much work to do. Almost heaven. West Virginia. Blue Ridge Mountain. Shining down a river. Life is older, older than the trees. Younger than the mountains. Like a breeze. Country roads. Take me home. Take me home. The story continues. Thank you. The prince and the inquisitor stand on an old bridge atop a hill. In the valley below lies Felton, painted orange and blue in the light of the setting sun. The sky is clear. All is quiet. Do you know why I brought you here? The Inquisitor sounds distracted, distant. And the prince does not know. He's losing track of his own thoughts. Losing track of reason. Of time. He thinks the other zealots are dead. But he isn't sure. There was fire. A lot of fire. And his mind aches. Something blocks his attempts at remembering. Something else is in there, in his mind. The dust pawn was right. You are the chosen one, granted influence upon this world, like no other. Chosen by an enemy of the church, an enemy of God. That very God who chose me and bestowed upon me the miracle of fire. We are both chosen. We are not so different. A task has been revealed to me. 
Felden has become infested with Dacians, but even before then, Felden already deserved this judgment. The Inquisitor looks down at his own hands. He looks at them for a long while, his expression wavering somewhere between sadness and spite. Then he lifts his gaze up, up toward the heavens. The prince looks up with him at the vast, deep, empty sky. Valsith, Halburn, Oradea, Medias, Felden, may the heavens come down upon them, and may they be reduced to ashes. An image rushes up from the depths, rising to meet him. From up high, a massive expanse of land stretches out before him. Rivers are ribbons of silver. Mountains are mounds of soil and stones. Towns and cities are smudges of beige and grey. And the sea is a distant shimmer. Entire realms can fit within his grasp. He reaches out and begins to close his hand around the kingdom. And a face appears before a flickering candle. Eyes closed. Peaceful. Beautiful. Delicate, porcelain white. He watches her sleep. He watches her. My friends, you have a choice to make. The prince has the following options. Destroy, 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 destroy. You have one minute to decide. Detach. I don't know about you all, but I heard defy. 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 Defy this higher defy. power. Defy. 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 And substitute my own. Defy. 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 I heard defy, defy four times. Defy. 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 So let's defy. 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 Wait, did he say that? Defy. Or did he... Defy. <laughs> Although, call me crazy, but I think I heard defy. another... Defy. The more you know. Defy. Whatever that is. Defy. No, you're mistaken. It's Joe. It was just it was just these, but that that's that's later. <laughs> Wait, you're telling me a shrimp fried this rice? Who's Steve Jobs? No, you're obviously missing the sixth option, you guys. It's Joe. Who's Joe? Huh? No. Joe Your time is up. Your friends, your attention, please. <laughs> Runaway Kobold, do you speak? Uh, yes. Come here. Closer. 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 What is the Prince's choice? Defy. Defy was not one of my options, you would defy me? Yes. Thank you. Best response. Yes. All right, kill him. What? You can turn to the boys. Him. 
Where'd he go? Where'd he go? <laughs> Chapter 5. Thank you. Mm -hmm. No. The prince shakes his head. No. He doesn't want to. The crown pushes, but he resists. He can't. He destroyed Lakeford. It was his vision, his will. He started the war, not Daisha. But if he destroyed Lakeford, just by envisioning its destruction, then that means... Answer, it's call. I won't. He can feel his brother's sword at his side. He can't forget who he is. He won't forget. I'm sorry. What did you say? I won't answer its call. You won't? You refuse? Ha! <laughs> Foolish boy! Don't you realize that you are a weapon? Weapons can't decide who dies and who lives. That is the responsibility of the wielder. The prince turns to face the Inquisitor. I wield my own power. And he closes his eyes and he wishes. He wishes for the Inquisitor to not be here. He wishes to send him far, far away. He tries to visualize the giant man somewhere else. With all his heart, he wishes. Something shines on his eyelids, a brilliant light, and then fades. Then slowly... He opens his eyes. The prince stands on the hill, alone. He tries to remove the crown, but for some reason he cannot bring himself to touch it. And then, all at once, in the safety of isolation, he realizes everything that has happened, and he drops to his knees. It was me. I destroyed Lakeford. I opened the earth. My vision. And that means the storm that killed my father was... He looks up. A figure stands nearby, a man in black armor, the visor lowered on his dented helmet, a Dacian soldier. The two stare at one another, silent. Others come up the hill. More Dacian soldiers pointing spears and swords at the prince. One with a crest steps forth. You there, boy. Identify yourself and explain the light. The prince looks to the helmeted Dacian who had arrived first and then back to their leader. This is his chance. This is how he can fix everything. He slowly stands and pulls aside his cloak, revealing his brother's regal blade. I am the Prince of Elazareth. My friends, please follow me. Oh, I just off. Neat. Hello. Neat. Start testing.
Mhm. Gut. Das geht. I want the forest patrolled all night, the general says to one of his men. Bring me the account of the scouts who went west. Ready the siege engineers, send word to the commanders to march at dawn, and someone find those cursed zealots. They're gone. The general stops. The soldiers stop with him. He glances back at the prince over his shoulder. What did you say? The zealots are gone. I was with them beneath Felden. The Inquisitor burned them all, and then I made him disappear with that light you saw. The soldiers look at one another, muttering, mumbling. The general glances at his subordinates. I... I can show you where it happened. What are you doing? The prince thinks to himself, You aren't your brother. Nobody will listen to you. And these are Dacians. They've been in your evading the Lazarus for five years. But another voice inside him speaks up. No. They didn't start the war. And neither did Lazarus. I started the war. And I can end it. Let me go back to Moravos. I will speak with my mother. Without the Inquisitor there, we're safe. We don't have to fight. I'll explain what happened and she'll make you a peace offer. I know she will. He can feel tension all through his body, but the fear does not possess him. I know I'm young. I know I don't look like much. But I can end this war. I can. The general approaches the prince. What do you know that I don't? I... The, the zealots, they started the war. It was a trick. What happened at Lakeport is their fault. My mother never wanted war. My father never wanted war. We don't have to fight anymore. Because the zealots are gone. Show me. Show me where the zealots were. My friends, please follow me. Uh. Uh, I didn't know we were in Notre Dame. Holy shit! Is this Harry? Is this that new Hogwarts Legacy uh, game? Shit, will we go with this? Hey, this is not. This is not Notre Dame. Dude, is that the <laughs> famous <laughs> Hogwarts that game anyway? <laughs> is this a fame a famous Hogwarts Legacy? And then we fail. Oh wow! Hi. The punk to see breakfast. Hi. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, do I? Oh no, that is kind of in an alley. Do I? That is the question. That is the question, man. <laughs> Mine's been disabled. Why don't just flip it up? The prince's home stands tall and majestic, oh, God, unscarred despite years of war. 
The garrison had allowed them into Morovos on hearing Dacia was here to sue for peace. Despite this, the <laughs> prince chainsaw. is uncomfortable. At the entrance stands a small host of knights, Have a nice day. and in their middle is the silver Aegis, armed and armored. The general approaches with the prince, and Aegis moves to meet them in the middle. A silence hangs. Your mother will be glad to have you by her side again, sire, she says to the prince, and I am glad to see you alive and well. She turns to the Dacian general. I am told you are here to talk peace with the queen. As it stands, myself and my aegises are all that remains between you and her majesty, the queen. So tell me, Dacian, why should I let you go any further? The general pulls off his helmet and holds it under one arm. I have seen the zealots myself, dead and burned, and I am told they were responsible for Lakefoot, acting against your queen's will, taking advantage of the absence of your king. Dacia is willing to move past this conflict, and as a token of trust, we return to you, your prince. And what of the eldest, the heir? The Aegis scans the host of Dacians, her helmet still on. All our efforts to find him were in vain. He has eluded us completely. The Aegis looks back and forth across the Dacians twice more. She is a single fortress, foreboding and immovable, shining silver from the moonlight. That is regrettable. Well, Her Majesty remains skeptical. You will understand that she has requested to see her son return to her before any further talks. The general nods again. I do understand. And you will understand that I request to send at least one of my own in with the prince, to at least confirm circumstances firsthand. The Aegis gives a shrug. Fine, you, come with us. She points at one of them. And the silver Aegis, the prince, and the helmeted Dacian enter the palace together. My friends, please follow me. All right. Bum, bum, bum. I had to jump and grab it. There's a lot of doors. <laughs> nice one, Protag. Oh, ah, okay. That's what he deserved. I might need to log off and go to bed. I'm Here we go again. Even though I'm, I, even though I'm good at the end, I, I should probably stay until the end. I should probably stay until the end, you know? That's fair yep. enough. How very yeah. glib. Thank you for the tour, Trey Jim. <laughs> I gotta go to sleep. I'm, I'm starting to zonk out here. <laughs> See you later, no, Kirby. No. <laughs> Rest well, Kirby. Yeah. yeah Good night, well. everyone. Night. The throne room <laughs> is tall, empty, and cold. Any comfort offered by the gentle moon withheld by Saint <laughs> Upon the throne sits the queen. Upon seeing her own son, she makes no movement. The Silver Aegis approaches and takes a knee. Your Majesty. The Aegis gestures behind herself. The Dacians have proven useful. The royal family 
is reunited. The prince blinks. Reunited? What of his brother? The queen says nothing. The prince looks at her from across the room, at her empty eyes, at her regal crown, and a sudden pressure builds in his mind. He feels the crown respond. Yeah, it's too much. He drops to all fours with a cry. Steel sings, and the helmeted Dacian draws his sword. The Aegis stands slowly, calmly, still facing the throne, and draws her own sword very intentionally, the blade and hilt glimmering. But that's not her sword. That's not the Silver Aegis's sword. She pulls off her own gauntlet and draws the blade across her exposed palm, unflinching. The crimson trail begins to glow and it catches fire. The flames erupt with a roar and the Aegis is engulfed. And when the inferno dies. The Inquisitor stands in her place. He turns to the prince, his robes whirling, his eyes gleaming, the moonlight blood red. Without warning, the helmet Dacian runs at the Inquisitor, leaping at him for a strike. With barely any effort and a flesh of flame, the Inquisitor knocks him aside. Metal clangs as the Dacian's dented helmet bounces away, and the prince's heart drops as he realizes who this Dacian is. I owe you my utmost gratitude, young sire, the Inquisitor says to the prince. You bore the Dacian general directly to me, and I suppose I must also thank your brother for providing me with such a convenient opportunity. Why, nobody but he and I knew the Silver Aegis's true fate. Ah, she made the perfect disguise. The prince, still unable to stand, still feeling a weight in his mind, stares in disbelief. My own brother killed the Aegis. No, no, he wouldn't. He told me he didn't. He swore. It's a lie. Oh, I'm afraid it's not a lie, although, to be fair, I don't think he did it intentionally. One might call it a rather unfortunate sequence of events that he violently initiated. Fairness aside, there is work to be done. My young prince, I have no qualm with you. We have spoken already. Come to see eye to eye, if you will. No, you are not the problem here. And he points the glimmering sword at the prince's brother, just now recovering from the blow. The heir will not become king. He has joined the ranks of our enemy, murdered his own mentor and guardian, betrayed his own kingdom and turned his back to God, and so he must perish in divine flames. The sword ignites, casting brilliance throughout the dim chamber, and the Inquisitor's eye sockets are empty, burning with embers. Ah. I don't care about being king, the brother says, grabbing his own weapon and struggling to his feet. I don't even care about Daisha anymore. They didn't start the war. It, it was my brother's own gift. I don't know how it works, but I do know he didn't mean it. He didn't want there to be a war. He didn't want to cause the storm. He needs help. Someone to look up to, someone who won't leave him. And I'm his brother, and it's my duty to look after him. He means the world to me. I wouldn't die for him. 
you hear me, Inquisitor? Uh, I would die for him! Oh? Really? How convenient. Time to pay the price. The Inquisitor plants both feet firmly on the ground and thrusts his offhand forth. A lick of fire erupts from his fingertips, blazing toward the brother. The prince is paralyzed by the crown. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. Discuss. Okay, Block hold with the on shield. Hold on, hold on. Before we discuss, yes, yes. Shield time. So we've gone through all this before many times, and we found out that the first two correct options, at least that work, are shield and sword. If the prince can wish, if, the, right now. if the prince can wish things away, then he can just. We we tried that. We last tried time that. It didn't work. We tried that last time and it that did not paralyzed. work. The first two. So it's shield first. Be nowhere correct shield are shield first. and sword. Yeah. So start, first we say first shield, shield and then we said sword. Yeah. Please yeah. spread it around so. Uh, yes. Everyone is aware. So, shield, sword. so uh, the shield, third, sword. but for the third one, lead us in We do not know. Our, our guessing theory sword. is that we do not call because it's a directed attack at the at the brother, oh, and the Inquisitor well, yes. is unwilling to hurt the prince. But what? Exactly. Yes. Well, the lead us in line of sight. See if we can get the. What? Line of sight? Nice. Well, we need to get to that. We, the the, the only thing we know what to do? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Dodging changed the last... The music. Every time dodged and it's this failed. Is so dodging now <laughs> seems like a very poor choice. And we tried calling on the brother and last time and it did not work. So our only lead You're is to go towards the, uh, the brother. But even then, I have doubts the, uh, given the that... Um, when he was given the crown and the fire went out, the acolytes the, were hurt. What happened to the However, I think it's I the only thing we got. So going towards the prince and, and, and like using uh, him so is the only thing we have to So shield first. There is so time's up. Time's up. Time has come to a close. Okay. Okay. Shield. Okay, well, in a moment. Shield. Where? I'm back. Shield. I'm going to make quite a few Twitter posts from this. <laughs> Nihilu, a knight doesn't would you be so prince. kind as to suggest a course of action for the brother? I think we should shield the attack first. Please repeat. We should shield the attack. Shield. The brother uses the shield. He blocks with the shield. He parries, he defends, he deflects. I wonder if the Very last well. word is if it has an S. The brother well. realizes he does not have time to move. Barely managing to get on one knee, he brings the Dacian shield up and uses both hands to ready it. The fire slams into it and it roars, scorching the shield, burning the brother's arms. After a moment, the fire subsides and the brother drops the burned shield. Its fragments scatter as it hits the stone floor. The Inquisitor readies the glimmering sword and leaps forth, swinging the mighty blade down toward the brother. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? Discuss. Sword. So, okay, now sword. we deflect with the sword. Flash we deflect with the sword. Deflect with the sword, yes. Use sword? Dodging does not work. So what do you mean brother? There are, there are only two. There's the, the prince the and his so brother. So deflect, not attack with it, right? One. The prince is currently yes. attacking. Yes, you just say sword. sword. Use the, the sword. And Use the, the is, sword. It's Use sword. We know dodging does not work. Uh, so, and no. we learned that the sword works. So it's, it's sword, shield, and it's our deflect. hope is that... Defend and deflect. <laughs> no, uh, yes. it's always a D later that deflect. for this, so, the, D, the D words have nothing use... to do with this fight. Oh, yeah, okay. I need to it's deflect. That's the problem. next one. Yeah, with the so, sword. Yep. Clash. A knight doesn't arrive late, clash. he arrives exactly when he needs to. 
Yes. No, that's a wizard. Dumb so, is it, it's a wizard. Is it alliteration when they use the letters? Oh, it's time, it's time, it's time. Penna, Penna has expired. Boah. Protag Chan, what oh, oh. does the brother do? Sword, it's time to du -du 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 duel. The sword in a defensive or offensive manner. Oh. Oh. That's no. I'm asking if he's attacking with a sword or defending with the sword. He's defending? Mm -hmm. Sure. Going for a clash. Because that's what we did last time, right? I mean, you could say clash, but last time we went clash, yeah. A clash of yeah, blades. Clash. Very well. The brother staying on one knee watches carefully. For a moment, for a heartbeat, he is back in time training with the Silver Aegis. He waits for the right moment, and when it comes, he brings the Dacian sword up, and it collides with the great blade of his enemy, and fiery sparks fly. With all his might, he pushes and he rotates, and his parry is successful. But the Dacian sword has been bent uselessly with the force of the blow. The Inquisitor lands on his feet, he and his sword both unharmed. The Inquisitor steps back, glaring down at Wait. the brother who is still trying to stand. The Inquisitor raises one arm heavenward, calling upon his miracle, and fire begins to gather in his palm. The prince remains paralyzed. What does the brother do? All right. We, we should, should hide, hide behind, the, behind prince. the prince. Because he's behind the prince. Hide behind the prince. Hide behind the prince. You do fire. Sounds crazy. The prince is the muse that hire fire. Yes. That's, yes. That's, our, that's our leading theory right hide now. Hide behind the prince. This is our leading theory. This I is mean, our. It so we want to. We want to hide behind the prince. The only thing we got. The only thing we got. We also just drop kick him. Yeah. Try like jump forward and drop kick him. That probably might work. Yeah, I think he's about to launch like a magic attack that we can't dodge. My, it is yeah, it's like an up. Oh, <laughs> okay. I guess. I guess on the one hand, hiding behind the disguise. Disguise? I don't know. Dog. Disguising behind the prince. I don't know. It's not dog. Yes. Yes. Had nothing to do with the word. Yeah, I know. It's just fun. It's just fun. I know. Hide behind the prince. Oh. Mm -hmm. In his current state. The brother doesn't have time to move so far. This has been tried before. That was oh, shoot. so we cannot move. Of classing. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Um, Either. Okay. Uh, think of something that doesn't require him to move so far or change his Why state. Why not move towards the attack attacker? Can't move. Mm, Can't move. 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 Can't move.
It's gone! The visions. They did see him. Listen to the visions. <laughs> hmm. This is what happens. The brother is reluctant, but he swallows it. There is no more time for secrets. He closes his eyes and lets the familiar feeling float up from his feet, and darkness consumes him. He is a shadow, swift and silent and he has a few moments to reposition himself with a minimal chance of the Inquisitor spotting those movements. The Inquisitor raises a brow as the Shadowborn uses his miracle of darkness. Shadowborn. He heaves his mighty <laughs> fireball up and sends it instead to a corner of the throne room, missing the brother but illuminating most of the chamber. The brother has only moments to make use of what little darkness remains in the room. The prince is still paralyzed. What does the brother do? You have one minute to decide. Okay, okay um, now um, we get to the sword. Can he can use the prince? Get to the prince. Get to the prince. Get to the prince. Off get to the prince. Get to the prince. Get to the prince. Get to the prince. Get the sword. Get the sword. Get the sword. Get the sword. Get the brother's sword. Get this other sword. Get the 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 sword. Yeah, but we could also we well we don't have a weapon. We could go to we could go to the we could go to the prince and oh, get our sword because we because the brother because the prince has the brother's sword. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Yes. that's what I'm saying. We I, we so we, said we need to close another prince. Hold on, hold on, because because the brother was able to break out on his own. If we sever the connection between the queen, because because the queen's looking at the prince correctly mm -hmm. for her own crown. If we get yeah, the crown the off queen the queen, doing? it might I, sever protect, and protect, the brother might be able to get out and use the sword itself. I think we yeah. should just get the sword. It's it's pretty complicated, but I think we should let's, let's just get the sword. sword. Okay, okay. We know, we know what to do. Grab, we can do this another time if we yeah. need to. Yeah. When the okay, okay. Let's move his brother and, and get that crown off of him. him. So I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 The crown is stuck. The crown is stuck. The crown is instated. That it's stuck. The crown is stuck. Only his powers as well. No, no, it was stuck. The crown is stuck. The crown is stuck. The crown is stuck. Decide now. Okay. Queen or sword. No. It's time. The time to plot is ended. That was more than enough time for discussion. You're at a point in the battle where you have never been before. How much further can you get? How long will this duel last? Incognito. Out of respect for you being absorbed by this music, what is your choice? <laughs> <laughs> the brother is going to oh. move to the prince and get his sword. Okay. All right, let's do this. Move let's get to it. the prince. Get back his sword. Simple enough. But will it work? We're going to see. We're asking. The brother's shadow rushes toward the prince as fire and light spread. As the light reaches the prince, the Inquisitor sees the brother reappear there, wielding a small but regal sword. The brother staggers away from the prince, momentarily dizzied by being forced out of his shadow. The Inquisitor lets out a short burst of laughter and leaps toward the brother's landing beside the prince. He sheathes the glimmering sword, reaches down, and with no effort lifts the incapacitated prince by his neck. Surrender, he commands. What oh, no. does the brother do? Uh, you have one minute. Call his so bluff. Not to... mm. Call his damn bluff. He, he, he cool. won. Yeah, cool. yeah, You're yeah, bluffing. No I feel like this is a uh, bad ending. Uh, Use your shadow power again. Be. Fake surrender? You know, I don't know. Maybe I know. Maybe I know. He can't do it. Oh yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. We... Yeah.
No, I think I think we should just stop. We should. Stop You're not the triggering us this time, Sorry, Abel. Oh, All of our points God. have been the letter S. All of our yeah, points have been the letter um, S. Sword, he's a little shield, distracted. Shadow. Maybe we could stab well, him. I don't know. That's true. Uh, Sheev. Uh, uh, Sheev. 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 Can we suck the, up Because the Inquisitor doesn't want the brother dead. Sucker punch. He doesn't yes. want the prince dead. <laughs> There's yeah. no way he's gonna hurt the brother. Or the prince. Oh, yeah. but, does, exactly. but does the brother that's, know that's that? A, that's the a brother bad doesn't know. No, no say, the brother doesn't no, know, think, think. but we do. I say we yeah, play we do. We do. We can all play the entity. Yeah, that's yeah, true. It's a meta entity, that's true. Go for. Exactly. Oh, we can go for it. Well, the power of the Inquisitor is part of the We pretend to surrender. We pretend. And then once he lowers his guard, we attack. Mm -hmm. Pretend to surrender. So what? Sucker punch. She we either sword. attack or we or we surrender. There's no other thing we can do. Uh, uh, don't I think or strike. Or call the bluff. Do not strike. Yeah, do not strike. Oh, is it was said or earlier. To, to strike. We don't do not know strike. what he's capable yeah. of. Ah, uh, that is the question, isn't it? Oh, just just. Yes. <laughs> Grabs yes. the prince well, from the Inquisitor. You might be well, and, you them, know, the, you what's, know, what's the Inquisitor going to do while we're yeah. holding the prince? That won't hurt the Fabulous. prince, too. Uh, help. Your uh, time so you has ended. There's, no way we, there's nothing we can do. The, the situation is, is indeed <laughs> dire. Mm. <laughs> Therefore, it only makes sense that I am going to ask... Gio Noir. <laughs> what is the brother going to do? <laughs> Destroy the crown. Can you elaborate, shot, please? please? Which crown? It's and how? On its head. Ooh. There are two crowns. Wait, There's the queen's. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We forgot about the queen. You want the brother to attack stab. the oh. other brother's head with the sword. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> yeah, the last time oh, Trajan had this kind of thing, we lost him. Please, you are, yeah, you are thoughts. slashing at a head! That's... <laughs> Throw the sword at the Queen's crown, maybe? No, we tried that before, and it's... Let's not attack people's heads, please. I am pressing you Let's for an answer. Let's not attack people's heads! What if they attack the Inquisitor? No. <laughs> name an object and name a target. Let's keep it simple. Geo, you can Come do on, this. Geo, you can do it. I believe in you. You got you this, Geo. No, um. Queen's uh, head. We could attack Queen's the Inquisitor. Crown. But uh, it's up to you. Let him. Geo. You said Queen's head. What does he do against the Queen's head? Five, four, three. It's worth a shot. Uh, Let's see what happens. I th I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was my fault. What? What do you mean? Frozen. No worries. Slows down. The brother looks at the prince dangling, alive yet consumed by the glowing crown. He looks at the inquisitor grinning, domineering, truly a warrior sent by God, or by a demon from the abyss. Please. The brother looks over his shoulder. And as he turns, he pivots on one foot and throws his own sword. He throws it at his own mother. It soars across the room, blade first spiraling, and it plunges into porcelain, 
Clay shards go flying as a shrill shattering sound fills the tall chamber. The prince opens his eyes, the pressure eases, the queen's crown falls. She was a porcelain doll. He was right! He was right! He might actually get a good ending. <laughs> is restrained both brothers can act you must all decide what both Ooh. brothers will do together oh. you have two minutes oh, shit. Uh, let's go okay oh. okay i think the okay. prince has to use the illusion no, pendant destroy. i think it has to come into play yeah destroy. we do have the illusion pendant destroy. Yeah, destroy. Okay. Destroy. Okay. Destroy. 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 At this point, destroy the Inquisitor. Destroy the Inquisitor. Power, mm. and then the brother can close in and finish him. Mm -hmm. like, oh. touch, it, uh, it, is it on contact? If you just hold it to him, would it dispel the fire? That's does the okay. pen do that? Do that. Do that. <laughs> I need one of the brothers. Oh. 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 Yeah, yeah. Bare yeah. minimum, the prince has got to use the pendant here. Right, right, right. Brother yeah. distracts. Prince uses the pendant. Remember, brother distracts. Prince uses the pendant. I mean, it's maybe it's just a comfort thing for him, but I. It's a comfort thing. I don't know thing. if divine yeah. power can yeah. be yeah. so yeah. 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 We got to be so good. I like. I'm going to use the pendant. It's a holy artifact, though. Like, like it would also hold importance to the Inquisitor as well because of Lodicia. Yeah. So. Making contact what do you think, with the with the pens and this on the Inquisitor <sighs> is what the prince should do. Alright. Uh, and then the yeah. brother I think the should, should run distract. up to him with the sword. Yeah. But, but the brother doesn't have the sword anymore. anymore. Yeah. He doesn't have it anymore. Oh, right. Well, well the brother we could go go distract go by closing in the gap. We could go wait, yeah, we could go try to grab the prince as the brother. The brother could go try to catch the prince. Oh yeah. Try to lift him up. To make it so he's less yeah. choked, you know, because he's yeah. not holding him by the neck. No, he needs to distract like, so him. the prince can do the thing. Yep. Fair. But he can distract Brother by distract, closing the gap. Prince pendant. Brother distract, prince pendant. He can't do anything the right now. Can... <laughs> well, the brother can Because if he closes the distance, the, the fireborn might just use a sword on him. Because he still has his sword. That's fine. Well, okay. No, no, no one hand has fire, one hand has in a the fire prince. miracle. Yeah, mm. okay. fire Yeah, that's Pretty what's tight. going on right now. Well, he still needs to be distracted so the prince can do it. Pretty tight. Right? Remember Careless. what I said? Jacob's ah, gun has been loaded. Too much time. Your time has expired. I have given you more than enough time to master this battle plan. Mm. No, that's a joke. You're going to struggle through this, however long it takes. I am going to call <laughs> upon... Diamond, do you have a plan? Uh oh. <laughs> the prince, if he's able, is going to reach for his Ludician pendant and push, like, hold it and push it up against the Inquisitor. 
and then the brother is going to run in and <sighs> give me a few words. Distract. 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 <laughs> and the brother will run up to the Inquisitor and tr try to like keep it pr Get stop him from being choked. <laughs> <laughs> the brother is going to attempt to free the prince and the prince is going to draw the pendant and press it or use it against the inquisitor is that correct yes yeah oh this is gonna be good mm. oh. oh boy <laughs> right here it can go either way <laughs> at least we know how to get this far uh. exactly <laughs> I just wish I didn't. The brother runs at the Inquisitor. He jumps at the tall man and grabs at the giant fist around his brother's neck. And he pulls and he tries with all his strength to free his own younger brother. And at the same time, the prince pulls out the Lydician pendant, ever present, ever comforting. And he presses its metal surface against his enemy's body. Buffering. Please hold. And still, the Inquisitor will not die, for only by Varna's will would he find death. The Inquisitor's hand closes around the Prince's neck. The brother screams, his lungs burn, and his heart breaks. Want to go to sleep? Hmm? Oh. The Inquisitor turns the fire instead to the brother, unleashing a torrent of unearthly flame that fills the room with unbearable light and deafening noise. We should have used a miracle. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. The prince and the brother have both been killed by the Inquisitor. <laughs> Thus, well, shit. their story ends for no suitable vessel remains to witness the uncertain fate of the kingdom of Lazarus in this timeline. My dear friends, oh no. my clever travelers, close, but not close enough. Welcome to Bad Ending C. My friends, for those who are new here, there will be some announcements in a couple of minutes by Sheen, so please remain here while the tour guides realign our ether. If you would like to take a group photo to commemorate this momentous occasion, please do so here and now. Us tour guides will line up in case you want to include us, but we will be absent for just a minute, and after you take the photo, Sheen will deliver his announcements. 
<laughs> that was progress. That was progress. That was insane. I just wish I didn't have to restart my PC. I just wish I didn't have to restart my PC. It was amazing. I had to do it like at the end. It was yeah, insane. It, yes. it was insane. It was it was I insane, insisted. but it was beautiful at the same time. Weeks ago, weeks ago, weeks ago. You fell out we beautiful the moment to open. Uh, yeah, we, we uh, finally, we finally got the opening. with us, just out of the We were looking for it. Hey, guys. No, holy crap, it makes sense. Because in the first vision, the boy was shown to be an elk, and he wasn't the same in the other. He was a shadow. Why would they be both hey. different? Exactly. Photos? Taking pictures, by the way. Yes, it could be photos. Oh, my God. We were theorizing about this for weeks. Weeks. We were literally doing this for months. Actual months. Yes. And it's now finally paid off. Where is the camera? Don't get it in front. I'm sure it'll be more than four, though. Or for more than like. Never do it. It'll, Remember it'll to have your safety or... settings on. Perhaps. Good. Good. Oh my That's god. That's what we gotta figure out. This is yep. hard. Next week. It's gotta be the miracle. So what they burn does his that lungs. mean? He burns his lungs. Brad and the eight. Some excellents. Maybe a beef and prince can extinguish the fire. Yes. I'm thinking. Brad and the eight. 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 McSellets. Destroy. Yeah. Destroy. 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 The source of it. Destroy. 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 I think the, I think the brother should try to take off the crown now, Destroy. and then we try to use the miracle. That's the thing. Yes. Well, we could we could use one before because he used the miracle while he had the crown. Take the crown. Still use the miracle even with the crown on. He just needs the control.